So it's been about two years since John built me my outdoor kitchen for my veggie patch. It was a great little addition that we needed. Um, we have quite a large veggie patch here, so to have something that I could wash down the vegetables with before they go into the house, um, get rid of any bugs or any dirt was a great addition. Um, we've had it for two years sitting out in the northern facing aspect of our block so it's copped a fair bit of sunshine over the years and obviously weather only the eaves are protecting it so we've actually never performed any maintenance on this outdoor kitchen you know what they say you should practice what you preach so um, after two years we thought we'd better give it a good little wash down um, and then we're going to actually use the Henkel products today to maintain it so we thought we would just take a quick view of what the um, current um, state is of the outdoor kitchen and um, then we can do a comparison after we've done the treatment to it. So as you can see here we've got a fair bit of um, mildew build up on the actual outdoor kitchen just from or a bit of rain that we've had over the last two years obviously being based in southeast Queensland. The panel itself it is a little bit dull but probably not too far gone probably doesn't have the sheen but I probably think that it's more about the dirt um, as you can see, it's a bit grubby. Um, so ooh, there's a bit of chalkiness in there. So definitely worth a bit of a cut as well. So I've done as much preparation as I can. I've put up our tent that we use at our DIY events and other events that we attend. Obviously, it's good to kind of keep the area in shade. You can obviously wash out in the sun. Um, it really is best if you can keep it in shade at all times. So today I do have the luxury of doing that. It also obviously provides a nice bit of sun protection for me while I'm working. So I've just raided the shed. Um, I was just looking for some car wash. So I've just grabbed the Bowden's wax wash that we have that we use on our daily drivers. So I'm just gonna wash the um, kitchen down with this first. Um, and then I'll put a line down to mark out the area that I'll be using the Henkel product with so we can do a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison. So here's the lineup from Terrison that we'll be using. It's from the Terrison Premium WX Polished range. Uh, so this is available through Styramax. We're going to be using the WX159XP cutting compound, the WX178HP haze remover, and then the WX182 spray sealant today. Of course, this is after we wash down the product. So that's the Terrison product that we'll be using today. I think I've done enough talking for the moment, so let's get into washing this thing down. So that's it for the wash. It's looking pretty good. Uh, all the mildew uh, and the dirt obviously has come off. The water was pretty filthy. Um, I could probably go over the doors a little bit more just to make sure that the dust is all gone from it. Uh, but all in all, pretty happy. I can tell from working with our fiberglass every day, it's still very dull. Uh, so that gel coat really does need that cutting compound that we'll do next. But um, it's certainly a big improvement from what it was this morning. We have discovered that there was probably maybe some either bat droppings or some kind of animal uh, droppings on top. And um, that wasn't removed. Uh, so we might try and get some acetone onto that one. See if we can't remove that before we do the cutting compound. Um, but all in all, pretty happy with the wash. Certainly just for an initial tidy up, it certainly has done a really good job. But this product, um, this outdoor kitchen, we really haven't maintained it in the last two years. So certainly suffered from neglect out here, um, being in the northern sun most of the day. Um, but that's pretty good for an initial wash. Let's see what we can do next. Uh, if you've got a build like this, that's been uh, left outside and neglected for years. Um, if you've got any really stubborn stains, um, acetone can be the best thing to get it off with. Um, the acetone is very good for cleaning fiberglass. Uh, certainly if you've got some bat droppings on there, um, try a bit of acetone. 
a rag and sometimes your fingernail is the best remover. But try and get to it as soon as you can. But with our builds, uh, with a Styromax panel that's got a Styrofoam core, uh, make sure you don't get the acetone onto the Styrofoam, okay? So if you're doing this and you've got a hatch out or you've got the core exposed, make sure you don't get any of the acetone onto the Styrofoam because I'll show you what happens. Just pour a bit on there. And then you can see that that's just dissolving the styrofoam basically. Yeah, quite incredible. So that's one disadvantage with styrofoam I guess is uh, it doesn't like solvents or resins. So uh, that's why when we bond, we bond with uh, polyurethane glue which uh, is styrofoam friendly. So yeah, um, if you're doing that on a new build and you've got your hatches out and you haven't put them in yet and you're wiping something down with a bit of acetone just be very careful because it only takes just a little bit of this to do that. Hey guys we finished for today um, this is the comparison I guess um, just on this one here we have just washed it we haven't done any other application to it so um, you can see from the video there's not much sheen or gloss uh, and if I move over here for the comparison shot uh, you can see the reflection of the actual uh, Terrason product there so we've got a really nice uh, gloss come back uh, we haven't been able to remove all of the small marks that we had um, some are still a little bit visible but all in all considering that we really have neglected our outdoor kitchen I'm pretty happy with the results so the first process was to use the cutting compound uh, with Henkel so I've just used the orbital uh, sanding or polishing disc um, just used as minimal product as possible uh, if you use too much product, obviously you're just going to clog up the actual pores and it's not actually going to achieve anything. So uh, little goes a long way. Obviously starting on a low setting just so you don't get it splayed everywhere. Um, and then small circular motions as you increase your speed from that. The next product I'd use is the Henkel Anti-Haze Remover. Um, so this one is really good for darker colours. So if you've painted your vehicle, or you've got any kind of darker color on it it will um, sometimes when you use those cutting compounds you'll see a swirl left behind so this is going to uh, rectify that it's actually fine and grit um, so again same principle applies use as less product as possible um, and then do repeat application after that the last process that i've used is the actual spray sealant by henkel as well so that's going to give it a nice high gloss kind of finish um, and seal it obviously so um, use as much as you can um, it will go um, a long way but just do one section at a time so that basically covers off on our care and maintenance video uh, we always have a lot of questions about this so we thought we would show you guys how we would do it this is a pretty neglected outdoor kitchen we have to say um, since it's been installed we never have polished it it has literally sat out in the weather for you know the last three years and in the northern facing aspect of our block so it's had a hard life um, will I do that again probably not I'll probably maintain this now um, from this point going forward so just remember it's a good idea to treat your caravan that's faced with fiberglass like a luxury vehicle if you can get a polish onto it straight away a regular washing uh, and if you need to cut and polish don't forget you can also buy caravan covers and keep it out of the dust and out of the elements um, if you're not using it and if you are using it and traveling around Australia or anywhere internationally and you just can't make it to a you know a washing facility or anything like that you can look at something like ceramic coating that does work wonders as well for the vehicle I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you hit like subscribe and the notification bell button so you can be notified of any further videos um, I've got a fair bit of work ahead of me we've just done this small portion just to show you but I've got to go and do the rest now so